हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टूडे विल स्टडी यूनिट नंबर फोर विच इज इलेक्ट्रिकल मशीन सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड द कंस्ट्रक्शन एंड वर्किंग प्रिंसिपल ऑफ स्लिप रिंग इंडक्शन मोटर सो आई होप यू आर रेडी विथ योर पेन एंड पेपर सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग मच टाइम लेट अस स्टार्ट दिस वीडियो सो दैट स्लिप रिंग इंडक्शन मोटर इज अ टाइप ऑफ थ्री फेज इंडक्शन मोटर सो फॉर्स विल स्टडी इट्स कंस्ट्रक्शन that uh, this motor has basically two parts first is known as stator stator is in the form of a hollow cylinder and on this stator so many windings are there copper windings are there and that stator part is a stationary part and to that a three phase uh, to that stator we will apply three phase alternating current so whatever windings are there for this stator they may be star connected or delta connected so for our easiness over here i have con uh, taken that uh, star connected that uh, stator winding now that is all about the stator now we'll move on with the rotor so that is known as rotor now over here we are taking this slip ring rotor now that slip ring rotor is made with one hollow cylindrical slotted core hollow means inside of cylinder nothing is there slotted means what on this hollow cylinder certain slots are constructed and inside of this slot this type of copper winding is wounded like that so this is what copper winding okay after that one end of this uh, rotor is connected with the slip rings these are the slip rings and the slip rings are connected with carbon brushes so slip ring and carbon brushes are movable parts now on the another side of this rotor they are connected with uh, this type of a uh, starting resistances and that starting resistances are variable now this resistances are used for basically two purposes first is what that starting resistances will decrease the starting current that means initially if you will supply less current then also motor will start to run why because that variable resistance will provide high torque at the starting okay then second purpose is what that this variable resistance will do what it will control the speed of this rotor once motor is started once rotor is start to rotate then this variable resistance will control the speed of the rotor okay so uh, that is all about the construction before completing the construction one more thing is that that whatever a rotor is there that rotor we will insert inside of this stator so from the front if you will see that assembly so that is the circular shape circular shape front view will be like that and these are the windings of stator so these are the windings of the stator say rr dash yy dash bb dash inside of that that rotor is there so from the front if you will see so that uh, shaft you can see so that is the shaft and these are the what slots that slot constructed on the outer periphery of this hollow cylinder okay now that is the construction and uh, construction now we'll start with the working principle in the working principle how we start to write that first we will supply the three phase ac alternating current to that stator so that from the all windings of the stator alternating current will start to flow okay now according to the faraday's principle we know that that if you have a conductor and from that if you will pass a current so around the conductor magnetic field will be produced so over here also from this coils or you can say wounded wires or you can say windings current is present current is flowing so around this coil also magnetic field will be produced and we know very well that in three phase induction motor whatever magnetic fields are there in this stator they are rotating so over here i have written that inside of this stator a uh, rotating magnetic fields are present also this rotating magnetic fields are variable why because with the help of variable current magnetic field is produced that is also variable so that is why i have written variable magnetic field is present so combinedly we can say that inside of the stator rotating and variable magnetic field is present okay now we'll talk about this uh, rotor now rotor has some copper winding that copper winding may be star connected or delta connected so for 
over here i have taken rotor winding as what star connected that means both of the windings are electrically coupled okay now after that over here these are what these are the slip rings that black portion is what black portion is carbon brushes and they are connected with what they are connected with starting variable resistances to control the speed and to reduce the starting current so that high torque you will get okay now uh, uh, right now what we know inside of that stator rotating and variable magnetic field is present now we know one principle which is known as electromagnetic induction that principle has been given by faraday electromagnetic induction principle is what that whenever a conductor is subjected to a variable magnetic field at that time inside of the conductor current is induced so that conductor or you can say rotor is present inside of the variable magnetic field so due to that what we can say inside of the rotor what's happen current is induced and which type of current is induced variable current is induced why because variable magnetic field is inducing the current so that is why variable current is induced inside of the rotor so rotor will produce what it will produce the magnetic field which is also variable because inside of the rotor variable current is induced and due to that variable current rotor will induce variable magnetic field that means inside of the rotor that is rotor portion i will write what variable magnetic field is induced and due to stator due to the electromagnetic induction principle and in stator which type of field is there in stator i will say rotating magnetic field is present okay now that means in uh, stator two magnetic fields are present rotating magnetic field and variable magnetic field that means both field will impart the force on each other rotating will rotating field will apply the uh, magnetic force on uh, ro rotor rotor will apply the variable field on stator but over here we know very well that stator is fixed or it is stationary and the rotor is free to rotate so all the effective rotating magnetic field is imparted on the rotor so rotor will start to rotate so in this way rotor will rotate now over here symbolically if i want to explain so we know that that uh, that stator stator winding stator will produce uh, which type of uh, rot uh, field rotating magnetic field stator is fixed and rotor is free to rotate so all the rotating magnetic field will be imparted on stator so stator will start to rotate so that is all about the working principle of the slip ring induction motor now we'll discuss its advantages and disadvantages first is what advantage high starting torque why because this variable resistance will do what it will decrease the starting current so that high starting torque it will get during starting less current is used why variable resistance will do so next is speed control is possible as i told you that uh, after starting of rotor with the help of that uh, variable resistances we can control the speed and uh, more rotating contacts are there means uh, over here slip ring is there carbon brushes are there they are more rotating contact you can say then next we'll discuss about the disadvantages first is what construction is complicated why because so many parts are there next is cost is high because so many parts are there maintenance is high same so many parts are there so in this video we will keep up to that in the next video we will meet with the differences between uh, squirrel cage motor and this slip ring motor so till then read hard work hard thank you very much